Hey guys, welcome to the Marsar channel. My name is Payam. Today we're here testing out this level 3 plus Hoflite Mark II armor from AI Tactical Solutions. Uh, we're going to be testing it with 9mm, 45, 223, and 3.8 ball. It is rated as a multi strike plate for all of these calibers, and we're excited to see what it can do. Okay, first off, one round of 9mm using 115 grain blazer aluminum. And one thing is that we do expect these gongs to fall down every time we hit them, uh, the plates rather. Uh, just because they're not in a carrier. All right, let's go take a look and see how it did. All right, so the first round of nine mil hit right here. We, I was aiming in this sector here to uh, to keep the rest of the plate untouched. We were shooting an angle, so I was shooting from the right side, aiming at the left side in case of a blowback. Um, there is significantly more damage than I thought there would be here. It looks like the round. It looks like the rounds in there, but I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you. We'll have to take that apart at the lab. And uh, you can see here we've deformed the side of this plate a fair bit. Up, we have a 1911-45. All right, 45 shot hit right here on the edge. Looks like it was a glancing blow, no real damage in there. Next up is the CZ Bren with XF855 green tip. All right, so that's obviously where I hit right there. And uh, there is significant damage, but it is not through. I can see it hit here and start angling out. Next up is the G3, 308, 150 grain. That 308 hit obviously did some damage. Uh, again, it feels like it just bounced off. Uh, taking a look at the back. I mean, there's some deformation, but I don't see any real damage back here. Looking around the frame, I don't see any shrapnel, so the anti-spalding seems to be working correctly. All right, being that this is a multi-strike plate, we're gonna see if we can do more damage with a few more rounds of 308. This means significant damage. There's there's Kevlar that's gone here. The plate is actually quite warm to the touch. Uh, still nothing through the back, but I am seeing now. It looks like shrapnel along this side here. I'm not sure if that screw was there before or not, but the camera will show if you go back earlier in the video. But uh, yeah, we are getting some shrapnel now. All right, three more rounds. We're gonna aim for center mass on this one, and we're gonna see if it holds up. All right, so we have more shrapnel on the sides. We are getting dents in the plate. I can physically feel these dents. Uh, obviously the plate is taking more and more damage. We're still not through. Granted, we are shooting this at a slight angle for safety reasons, but you know, I'm still pretty happy with this. It's living up to its rating. All right, so here it is after six rounds of 308 and uh, all the other calibers we tested. Obviously, it's taken a bit of a beating, but, you know, the performance itself, I'm actually quite pleased with this. Uh, worst case scenario, taking six rounds of 308 in this area is, uh, and still holding up. I mean, there's there's definite deformation in the back a little bit. You know, I can feel it right here, but this is a worst case scenario. This plate stood up to what it's rated for. Uh, I think it's excellent value for the money. And if I was looking for a set of these plates, I wouldn't be shy to get these. They actually surpassed my expectations. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Take care, guys.